Hello, welcome back to programming with C++. Today we are going to look at um, the anatomy or the structure of a C++ program. So um, currently we are using the Dev C++ ID for uh, this um, course or this particular video. You could check out videos made earlier on how to configure this IDs. Uh, we have online IDs, code blocks, I have make videos of them, so you check them out. All right, so first what we do is that we create a new file. So source file. Then to the first mark, uh, include. So uh, what this include means is that uh, it's basically a preprocessor directive that allows you to add header files and that increases or extends the functionality of your program. So there's one header file that is used mostly. Uh, the name of the header file is IO stream. So this IO stream header file uh, contains functions and keywords like CL that allows you to display information to the outside, like scene that allows you to take in inputs, then end line that allows you to move to a next line, um, the output. The next is using name space. I suppose as to the male scores. All right, so um, basically using the space STD is where the IO stream functions, that is the functions here, the CLT in the ID frame. Um, it brings all the names from the standard library into the current scope where we can use, be able to use CLT and then the other functions. So um, at the end, just like you end a sentence uh, with full stop, uh, our English sentence ending with full stop, the same thing applies for programming. And in C++, the sentence is that after every line of code, it must end with a semicolon. So moving on to the next structure, it's the main, int main. Okay, so the next is the int main function. Uh, the int main function serves as the, a predefined function, that is the main function of your program. Um, realize that after this you have uh, parentheses here which will contain the arguments uh, of the function. Yeah, and then here we have the body. This is where the code that you type may go into. And then we have uh, return zero, uh, which basically return zero uh, after the execution. You could see that there is int here, int int. Um, basically, what is starting this is that um, the output of the code or your the output of your program is going to be an integer. Yeah. So here we have return zero, which basically does nothing. It does something. Basically, it it, it runs and then tells us that our program was successfully executed. So um, back to the using the space STD, I made mention of something that it does. So um, we are writing the program, C++ program, using the C out function here, which basically allows us to print anything that we want to the outside of. So let's say C out, hello world. And then we see after every C++ program. So when we are done, um, on, you have to compile first before you run. So. This is where you compile. So let's name, let's say structure or let's say STDS. So it's been compiled. Or you could also click here uh, for it to compile and run at the same time. So we have hello world here. So let's see something. Let's take this out. We let it start running. So let's introduce this man here. It's running. So um, the moment we take away the username space as the let me bring it here. And um, we use the main space std. Let me comment. You see plus plus um, if you want to add comments, single line comments you use uh, the the double slash basically what happens is that 
this commit is for the programmer and then the compiler doesn't execute this commit. So it contains the post about it. So, so the moment uh, we take away this here, using a success tip, every line of code that involves the IO stream um, um, packages or the functions, you'd have to bring STD. So when I want to see anything that I want to do and line anything, I would have to bring STD, which is a good practice though, but I prefer to have it declared here. Have this declared here, sorry. Four. So, oh, man. So basically what happens is that um, this year is being declared with a global scope. So anything that comes under this, you don't need to use the STD, um, colon, colon, uh, after every, almost every function, every keyword in the IO stream library. Just do this and then just type STD, then you are good to go. Thank you.